These pheasant chicks may not be worth their weight in gold, but at current bullion prices, they are worth their weight in silver. Bird flu in France has caused a shortage of eggs and poults. The lack of birds and high prices have already caused many shoots to close. Estates are diversifying to survive. Hawthorne Sporting at Bowhill in the Scottish Borders is one of many replacing driven days with simulated game shoots. Stuart Riddle and his son Robert run Hawthorne. And being a fifth generation gamekeeper, my son's a gamekeeper here with me, um, it's all we've worked for for the last 25 years and to lose it all, you know, COVID was bad enough, but this is this is just major, major. Um, I think the biggest problem is that I bought the eggs at the beginning, I bought the eggs because I had 14 driven days sold and I bought the eggs to give them some shooting and I've had to sell the eggs because when you sit down and do the sums, you know, you shoot 35% to 40% of what you, if you're, if, if you have a really good season, 35%, then if you think that you're paying more for your bird, so your 60% that you don't shoot is costing you so much money, we can't afford to shoot. Stuart, who's 65, has invested almost £30,000 in setting up simulated clay shooting. I paid for the traps with my pension, which is dwindling very fast. Um, and we're having the first simulated day tomorrow. I'm a little bit disappointed. I was hoping to try and sell one a week to just bring in a little bit of income. What we would like to do is get into corporate days where we're bringing people from the towns out into the countryside for the day. Um, we can we can do tuition. We have um, instructors fairly close to us that we can get on a day. Uh, and I think that would work really well, but also help the shoot for the next few years to recover from having two or three years of uh, losing money, we would like to see. We would like to think that this will make a big difference to us. Before COVID in 2019, UK shoots imported 20 million pheasants and around 10 million partridges from France, the majority as eggs. The winter outbreak of bird flu is in the Vendée and Loire regions, where many of the UK's game birds are bred. The current restrictions mean the chances of imports this year are slim. The National Gamekeepers Organisation says that after Covid, the current crisis couldn't have come at a worse time for the shooting community. I know that there's shoots that have shut down because of Covid. Um, we have a good year last year, we had a good year, um, a very good year. We think, right, we're over Covid, now we've got bird flu. You know, bird flu is it's becoming a devastating um, disease. We, it, we always have had bird flu, um, and we always used to sort of like think that it came in with the wildfowl. It was here during winter time. It disappeared with the wildfowl. Hot weather used to kill it off. But now it seems to be um, coming back with a vengeance. The bird shortage is forcing some shoots to swap to alternative suppliers. I have a big game farm that I get all my game from for the last 20 something, 25 years. And um, they couldn't help really at all. We just had to wait it out. Um, and we had um, the, the hope to get chicks, hope to get chicks, but nothing ever came. So just by chance, a friend told me about some eggs in Poland, which we duly uh, emailed, talked to them, and then we had to pay up front before we had one egg in the country, which was very nerve wracking. So everything was paid up front at probably about four, four to five times the price it should have been. The situation is not as bad in Northern Ireland as Charlie Jacoby discovered at the Irish Game Fair last weekend. Birds, birds and more birds. But if you're Welsh, Scottish or English, you can't have them. 
These birds from Whitehill Hatchery cost more than four pounds each. Day olds cost over a pound. That's more than last year, but a lot less than the rest of the UK. Shoots on mainland Britain can't import them because when it comes to trade, Northern Ireland is part of the European Union. It's not all roses over here. There are shoots that are swapping bird shooting for simulated shooting in the coming season, such as this standholder, the Cleggan Estate in County Antrim. Back to Deborah in Britain. Despite the issues in France and the increasing number of cases of bird flu in the UK, Basque hopes that the shooting will recover from the current challenges. I think we're, we're faced with a disappointing season for many people. Uh, we need to think of, of the positives, and there are some. So some shoots now will be looking at how they secure their supply chains for the future. Uh, this will build in a, a degree of robustness. One of the things that we, we will probably learn from this, this current situation is enhanced biosecurity, proper procedures in place, the positive is that we've bounced back from many other, you know, really bad yeah. situations. We've had COVID, we've had foot and mouth in the past, and we have bounced back from them, and there's no reason why this will not be any different. You have to dig in. You have to be very, very strong. Um, it does affect you quite badly, and um, you just have to think there is, there is a light at the end of the tunnel. This season, won't look like any other. However, adapting to the challenges may prove vital to protect the future of shooting.